Hi, my name is Elizabeth Letts, and I'm the author of The $80 Champion. The $80 Champion is the remarkable true story from the 1950s of a young Dutch immigrant named Harry who rescued a broken down plow horse from a truck bound for the slaughterhouse and against incredible odds turned him into the greatest jumping horse in the land. I came across the story pretty much by accident. I was looking at pictures on a website and I saw this remarkable picture of a horse who was actually jumping over another horse and there was a man riding on his back and both the horse and the man looked so unconcerned by this incredible thing that they were doing and I was intrigued by it and I wondered what the story was and I started to do a little bit of research and I realized that the story of both the man and the horse were incredibly fascinating. Snowman the horse was born and bred for a purpose and that was to be a workhorse. He was about seven or eight years old and he apparently no longer served a purpose. He ended up at a place called the New Holland Auction, which is kind of a, a spot of last resort for horses. At that auction that day, he didn't find a buyer. Nobody bought him. He was loaded up on his way to the slaughterhouse. Snowman would have ended up like any of the three million horses that disappeared between the year 1950 and 1960, had it not been for a chance encounter with a man who saw him and recognized something in him and thought that that horse deserved a second chance and that was Harry DeLayer. Harry DeLayer was born in 1928 in a small village in Holland. He had a gift for horses, and he rode horses from the time he was two years old. He was such an excellent jumping rider that he thought he might make it to the Olympic team. Well, what happened was that his village was occupied by the Nazis during World War II. When the war ended, there was economic devastation everywhere. So he emigrated to the United States with his young bride and he started out working on a tobacco farm and he went on to be a riding instructor in a girls school. He was riding horses and training horses, looking for lesson horses for the girls and he would enter a little bit in local shows but he really had no hope of going onto the show riding circuit or competing because that was the absolute pinnacle of the East Coast establishment social world. Most of the horses that competed at this level, virtually all of them, were thoroughbreds. Horses was a world of wealth and privilege, and Harry had nothing. Most of his horses were horses that you know he had bought very cheap. Either they were a horse that had been injured at the racetrack and was retired, or a lesson horse, something that he was able to afford. And he would train them, and he would try to show them and jump them a little bit. And he probably would have stayed at that level if he hadn't come across the horse Snowman. There was something about Snowman, there was some connection that he felt from the very first time that he saw him. And I think that it was the bond of survivors. Both of them had been through really, really difficult times. Harry had lived through war and he had had to give up everything that he had ever hoped for. And Snowman, when he was found, seemed to deeply appreciate it. He knew and he recognized in Harry a person who was going to connect to him and he was loyal. And I think that that is the thing that really made Harry and Snowman a special team that helped them to rise above. 